It was another hot and sticky day across the region. We reached a high of 87 degrees in Lafayette. But look off to the west in the 90s, mid 90s around Springfield, high of 95 degrees there, and 98 degrees for high around St. Louis. And if you look at our Precision 18 radar, we do have some heat advisories in place just west of the viewing area. And southwest, there is excessive heat warnings, and that's because the temperatures will be on the rise, especially tomorrow. We'll have very uncomfortable conditions. We'll have humidity, high humidity, and heat index values in the lower hundreds, and then we'll finally see some relief by the time we get to the later part of our work week. But right now, we're still sitting at 75 degrees, still pretty warm with mostly clear skies. The winds are also calm at this hour with temperatures still in the 70s, 79 in Fowler, 73 in Kokomo, and currently 76 degrees in Rossville. Here's a look at our satellite and radar. Much of the region is staying dry thanks to an area of high pressure, but we will see that chance for at least partly cloudy skies overnight and some patchy fog to develop by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. But temperatures overnight should stay pretty warm. We're expected to stay in the lower 70s. 73 at 2 o'clock in the morning, dropping to 72 by 3, and then eventually 70 degrees by 5 o'clock with overnight lows in the upper 60s for much of the viewing area. The northern half of the viewing area should stay in the 60s and then around the 70s for the southern half. 70 in Attica and an overnight low of of 70 degrees in Pine Village. And again, that chance for patchy fog when we wake up tomorrow morning with a temperature around 72 degrees. So it'll be a warm start tomorrow. And by the time we get to around lunch, high of 90 degrees, especially by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll continue to see mostly sunny skies, but it'll be very hot and humid by the time we get to the afternoon hours with highs in the lower 90s and upper 80s in some locations, upper 80s up to our northeastern counties, 89 in Logansport and Rochester, high of 90 for Winnemac, and then 91 degrees for high in Remington. But if we factor in the humidity, we're expecting temperatures to feel like they're in the lower hundreds and then into the upper 90s. Of to our northeastern county. So it'll be a warm one tomorrow and it'll also be very uncomfortable. We should stay dry, but we, we are expected to see lots of sunshine in our next chance for rain by the time we get to Tuesday. But temperatures this week should gradually fall 87 degrees for a high on Wednesday, 84 next Thursday, and then finally dipping below the average high of 84 degrees by next Friday. And then next Saturday, high of 80 degrees. That'll feel very comfortable, especially compared to what we've been going through the last couple of days. But tonight, 69 degrees for an overnight low, partly cloudy skies, and that chance for patchy dense fog to pop up by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. And a high of 90 degrees for a high tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. It'll be hot and humid again, so just be prepared for that. And then another chance for showers and thunderstorms by the time we get to Tuesday. High of 89 degrees for Tuesday, 87 next Wednesday. Still seeing a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Thursday looks mostly dry with partly cloudy skies with highs in the mid 80s. while we'll have a high of 84 degrees by then. And notice temperatures will just gradually cool down a bit. We'll have highs in the lower 80s by the time we get to next weekend. But we still have a chance for a scattered shower and thunderstorms by the time we get to next Saturday and then dry out by next Sunday.